Hi all, welcome back to Mushi Town. This is your host speaking, MacGyver. Today we'll be continuing our Don't Starve Together Let's Play. Let's get started! Ooh, looks like we got gifts in this episode. In today's gift, we got a. Dun 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 dun! A costume. Interesting. Well, we'll see you in there. And hi guys, and we're back. So this is actually attempt four. Uh, are you actually trying to kill me? No, good. So, as I said at the beginning of this episode, this is attempt four. We have tried to utilize the environment to kill this guy four times. And all four times, we have failed. Oh, all three times. Which I'll clip uh, right here. Around the rosy, past is so posy. Okay, screw it. Death to them! We died. So yeah, first attempt, as you guys saw, buffaloes didn't go well at all. Second time, frogs failed miserably. Third time, failed even worse. No, I kind of just gave up on the third time because I figured it'd be better to restart the day than to, you know, have what I had, which was basically a wasted day. Uh, another key factor that uh, I'd mentioned that you guys wouldn't see is... Today, I filmed this on May 14th, aka Mother's Day. So, this is me wishing all of you who to may concern, and those of you who have family to whom it may concern, Happy Mother's Day. Another thing is that this enclosure, uh, it will take 25 days from me finishing it to uh, spawn any iguanas. So, if I did the math correctly, the f um, first day for me to see any iguanas would be... Oh, spring 20th, because uh, iguanas will not sp spawn during winter, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, if it didn't count for the, you know, six days left of autumn, the first day I'll see any will be like the last, will be the 25th of spring. Um, anything else? Also, uh, to note, you guys will see later in, um, today, Monday, um, I posted part 16, where me and Red Hood were trying to attack one of the bosses. Uh, Red Hood made a statement saying that tree guardians didn't come from that particular species of trees. Well, this is proof that tree guardians will come from any trees. Uh, just give them time, I guess. So, I think that is all the major announcements. Uh, next thing was basically, what are we planning to do today? So, in the last episode, we went and killed uh, a rook, a horse knight, uh, I think it's a rook, for uh, gears. So I could build a handy dandy refrigerator for all of my food. Because in the last episode, we found out that all of our crops, they unfortunately died. So I'm going to build us a handy dandy refrigerator. Another thing that you'll notice on Wednesday, another unfortunate thing that happened, we didn't build any, um, lightning rods. So we paid for that dearly. So I'm just going to build two of these now. One here, and one over here. Actually, I should build one in the, like, one in this too. I need to open up this. Looks like I need more gold. So, uh, that's another thing I'll do today. So, we've already built the... Oh, so, this is here. Sorry. Being picky on it. I don't need to be, necessarily. Um, this is here. Looks like we need gold. So, we already got the fridge built, which is awesome. I'll get all the food from this bag. Let's throw it in our fridge. Help handy dandy fridge here. Do the seeds need to go in there? Absolutely not, but uh, I have them, so. Ooh, that looks good. So, we got this bag. This bag. I wonder, where's Chester? Come here, Chester. Can I put a bag in Chester? No. That'd be awesome if I could, but by the looks of it, I cannot. So, I'll do this. 
Oh, that was... Thank you. Mark you. Let's throw you in there. We'll put away the extra stuff we do not need, such as this handy-dandy gear, this tail. Not really sure what the tail does. But we will put it in there for now. Wood goes in here. And we need to pick up this one. No. This one. Ah, that's why. Um, hmm. Seventy bag. Throw that in there, I guess. So how much today? We um today is almost over. So I'm gonna prep for tomorrow by you know where we don't even have a gold pickaxe. So we'll make up a gold pickaxe. I'll actually replace all the cage um traps here. Um, that we used. So, I'm actually going to keep this on my person. Set that there. Awesome. Second one of those grew. Set that there. I think I have one more over here. Yes. And then we'll pick all the grass. Set that, please. Pick up that. Basically, yes. Once we get all this stuff done, we're going to... Uh... Yeah, tomorrow's mission, get gold. And stone, because I'm going to need a lot more stone. Oh, do I even have enough of gold for what I want to do? Ooh, I don't. That sucks. Uh, but I already have it learned, so that's not a problem. But I do need flint. So, flint. Thank you. Sticks. Fun. Get the other just to... What I really need to do to put in this bag is... Some of this. This and this. Throw that in there. Grab up this bag. No, this bag. Let me get this back. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm all over the place for the looks of it. Uh, this one. Okay. Throw this in there. Start up our fire. Check out Chester. Yeah, these can stay in him for now. And then get we'll get gold. So where's this bag? Run around that. Then let's look at the map. Well, let's see. Besides digging up gold here, which drops our sanity rapidly, we can go dun, 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 over here. So we gotta go through the. Okay, cool. That's this way. So cool. We just go this way, and we can go get gold. So, mark you. Oh, you're asleep. That's the only crap thing. These birds constantly are sleeping. So, two of you, two of these, cook that up. Get rid of those frog legs. And, yeah. We'll have food when we get back. I'm actually gonna eat these. Just, you know, might as well. And start running north to get some... Oh, I didn't even build the pickaxe. So yes, um, did I dig up some of these graves? I don't remember. I might have been an earlier episode looking for gold. Um, not the smartest thing to do. I think I talked about gears. I was digging them out for gears, but then gave up on it and went and did uh, something else. So if you guys don't know, uh, handy dandy tip is if you're ever trying to move uh, far distances, uh, run on roads because you move a lot faster on roads than you do in uh, trails. So actually this character, I'm gonna have all of this here. And yes, let's mine up some lovely gold. So I'm just gonna do a quick mining montage 
and if I have any, oh, I also get ice. Oh, it's late on. Cool. Ice is actually really good for spring. Not spring, but summer. Would help with the heat. So, uh, yeah, once we, uh, unless I have any more tips I think of or things I want to mention, uh, we'll be right back. So this is going to speed this up real fast and we'll have a quick mining montage until the end of this day. So yeah, be right back, guys. And we're back. So, looks like we found where all the tall bird uh, nests are. Didn't actually realize they were up here. So that's really cool. Another thing of note, you guys saw I was mining all the ice. That is for two reasons. One, it helps with the winter, um, not winter, summertime. When, uh, you have to deal with the extreme heat. Uh, you can, uh, have ice drinks or other ice things on you. And it'll help lower your, heat, um, temperature. That's actually why I put all the ice in Chester. Because it was rapidly dropping my temperature. And I didn't want to end up freezing to death in autumn. So, we gave all the ice to our handy dandy. Uh, friend there, Mr. Chester. Another thing of note, if you noticed on the screen, there was little spots of black and it looked like a, you know, something hit the ground there. Those are asteroid impacts, actually. That's why that one, uh, po there was a pile of all that mined out, um, material, gold, stone, and, um, flint, was because an asteroid had hit one of the gold rocks and ended up, uh, you know, destroying the rock. Which is awesome for us, because we didn't have to mine it. Another thing of note, if you guys notice, I still have a, you know, flint pickaxe. Well, that is because I didn't realize I have not yet learned the recipe for uh, gold pickaxes. So, you know, something new I learned. Well, not really new, it's just something I found out a little later than I would have rather happened. But, you know, such is life. But we got today's mission done. So we put all that stuff away. Acorn in that one. And we got one of these moon rocks. Uh, I don't really know what they do yet. But I will know on the next episode. So if you have any questions about them. Feel free to add, put it down below. Oh no. It's, it on. Oh, no, 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 no. It is not a full moon like I thought it was for half a second. So I uh, didn't really want to use manure. But that was the first realized the first fuel I saw and eh, readily available. Little oh, crap. Oh, you know what? Add that to fire. I don't really need it. I don't need to make fire that big. No, but it's you know, panicked me doesn't make great decisions. Uh, tools, weapons. What's this? Fencing sword. A sword used for fencing. Interesting. Um, we'll get back to that. So tools. I wanted to make a golden hoe. It's one of the first things I wanted to make because I wanted to finish up our garden here. Once I'm done with this, actually, I'll go back to the putting the electric rod by our hard, um, long spent uh, iguana spawning pen. Because uh, all that is highly flammable, and we really don't need to, uh, all the stuff to uh, burn. So, let's see. Good. Crap this, and then we're gonna do lightning rod. So, go put this right. Here somewhere. It'll let me. Okay, I might actually have to put a few in here. We're not sure. It would like actually can I put it in the middle here? I don't think it will. Let me. There. We'll put it there. So let the game direct me, I guess. Probably be the fastest route. And I might have to put one in this corner. Uh I'm not sure yet. There is a mod that tells you the radius of those. I don't have that enabled. But I might just enable that, uh, depending on how winter goes. If you guys know if that's not big enough and I need a second one, please leave that down below because I would hate for all of our hard work to go up in flame. That'd be really sad. 
I might as well just throw that in there, because that gives you a lot of... Well, might as well just eat it, I guess. It's gonna go bad before any, I'd get any use out of it. Why are you green? I don't know. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. What's next? Uh, well, well, first things first, we'll end up... I wonder if you can put bunnies in here, in the fridge, without murking them. Let's see. You cannot. Makes sense. You're kind of kill them anyway, so it's kind of a bit morbid. What is it that we're dis discovering? So, PETA, please don't ban my uh, sh game, because I was discovering what the game mechanics allowed. Um... What's next? I really didn't have a plan for this today, so... Um... We started on day 25. It is day 27. This is actually the last day of this episode. Um... Yeah, what do I do today? Uh, I need to get more lumber for... Um... Projects. So I guess we're gonna go cut down trees. And talk to plants, I guess. Drop that there, and let's go, uh, piss off Mother Nature. Did I put the gold back in here? I did. Because so I need this. And we'll make this so I've learned it. So, let's use up this axe first. I think I have zero karma of trees now, so... Probably not the best idea, but eh, we need the wood. And these are really awful trees. I don't know why I'm, um... The tree guardians would even be mad at me. I'm like, mate, I'm doing you guys a favor. Oh, he's right there! I think he's mad at me again. At least he didn't spawn a new one. And it's really helpful that they're very slow. So, yeah. Run you up here. I'll cut down this tree. Thankfully, they're all nice and tall right now, so. Get some good, you know, lumber out of them. Honestly, just gonna cut down all the big trees right now. Because I want the most wood I can get for these guys. If I'm gonna have to, you know, travel anyways to get uh, better trees, I might as well just get my bang for my buck. If you know what I mean. That guy sure does travel slow. So, and we'll be disconnecting, you know, at the end of this episode. He, So he won't actually, so I'll be dripping the system, basically. Because I'll be disconnecting from the server. And he'll lose aggro on me, which is kind of a cheaty way to do it. But, uh, hey. You do what you gotta do. If you guys would like me to fight him in the next episode and make that the, you know, whole thing of that episode, uh, please feel free and leave it down below. I might even put up a poll. Uh, so, so for episode, what would it be? I don't know. Whatever episode number that would be, uh, I'll actually do that. So I will put up a poll uh, tomorrow asking for the next episode, do you guys want me to fight the tree guardian? Yes or no? So, they'll be posted probably 12.30 tomorrow, something like that, and I will get the results, and I will, because that video will be made either Sunday night or Thursday, depends, because I have uh, responsibilities Friday through Sunday, so I don't know what if I will be able to film said episode, um, Sunday night, like I normally try to do. That way I can leave polls up long enough for, you know, at least six days to get y'all's feedback. Hmm, I think it only has 32 seconds before it uh, reverts back to a, you know, twig. Uh, 
Uh, where's my torch? There's my torch. Ooh, got that one there. So yeah. Um, put all this stuff away. I get back home, and that'll basically be the end of the episode. Sounds like the first thing we're gonna have to do in the next episode, though, no matter what you guys pull on, is to deal with uh, dogs, which is lovely. So I'm actually gonna put these guys in there, and I'm gonna make. I should put the. I should actually go through tomorrow and make a drying rack as well. It's only charcoal, anyways. Let's see. Ooh, I need lumber. Put that in there. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, it is always a pleasure to get you guys' feedback and everything else. So thank you and God bless. Oh crap, dog! So yep, this is today's... Uh, see you guys next time. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>